Hi there. We are re-releasing the Nurses Ball episodes that we recorded in May 2019 to mirror what General Hospital is doing right now with showing us the previous Nurses Ball episodes, not only as a fun flashback to a trip down memory lane, but also as a great tribute and a thank you to those who are serving us in the medical field. Thank you so much for all of the hard work that you've been doing during this COVID-19 global pandemic. And we hope that you all enjoy these episodes. Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, the podcast. Hello. Hi. So welcome to the 2019 Nurses Ball Recap. And I'm thinking this is just a part one because for some reason, we're not done in three days. Right. So I don't know what's going on. I think that the writers need to understand that. I mean, obviously, our podcast is more important. <laughs> but Can you condense when they, this down but for seriously, Amanda though, When they say that it's going to be May 17th. Right. I have it be May 17th. Yes. Like, didn't the nurses ball all used to be one day, maybe mm-hmm. two? Right. I mean, yeah, because we talked about that when we did the history. Yeah. That it was odd the year that Port Charles was on. Because yes. Because they drug it out longer because... Because they had to cross over between the two. Yeah. So the fact that we're on Friday, Monday, Tuesday so far, because we're Today's going to be day four. Today, yeah. we're recording Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Sorry, I just cut you off saying It's that. okay. Yeah. And it said that it started on whatever Friday's date was. And that was really just red carpet. Yeah. There was no axe or And that's anything. fine. So do red carpet one day, the ball the next day. Yeah. And then whatever carryover is the next. I think they're trying to tie it too much into this whole, is Ryan back? Did Ryan come back? Blah, blah, blah. Right. Storyline. And so. Yeah. Because I'm assuming they're going to show if Ryan is back. Yeah. Assuming that he is from the way that yesterday's ended. Yes. That they'll actually reveal that on Friday. Can I give you my prediction? Go ahead. I think that Ava's martini was poisoned. That's what I thought too. Just the way that she like swooshed it up. So. Yep. Yeah. So I want to talk to you about how are we going to keep storylines out? I think so obviously. So like that might actually be the only out of Nurse's Ball storyline that really needs tied into the Nurse's Ball. Because if. If that's true. Right. You know, and then Finn proposing to Anna happened at the end of her thing. But like, we don't have to get into all all the other stuff that happened before. Yeah. I think stick with what they were wearing. Yes. And the The performances. Yes. 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 Because we can talk about the rest of the stuff. That ties in. To talk about the weekly recap. Well, but then, I mean... (laughs) So, because yesterday, really, like nothing happened outside of the nurses' ball. There's only five acts so far. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, I'm really underwhelmed by this mm-hmm. year. I wasn't impressed because no one really did anything except for stand up there and sing so far. Did you know that William Lipton, the kid who plays Cameron, wrote that song? I kind of figured after they like made a big deal, like Joss made a big deal to yeah. him about you wrote that, blah blah blah. But and he, I liked that. Uh, that was a really good song, yeah. and I liked that they made it about Oscar, but not made it about Oscar. Yeah, like, the, all the pictures and all that weren't just Oscar. It was about friends and family mm-hmm. and like life. So it was Cam's therapy. That was cute. Yeah, or we can talk about the llama, the moment that he had with the llama, because I that's don't... strictly nurses' ball. Like. <laughs> I don't the know. Llamas I'm interested to see what the llama has to do with anything. Well, remember the llama was there last year. Why is the llama there? I think it just winds up there. I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. If you remember why the llama is there, please let us please know let on us social know, media or at Pier 54 feel podcast at gmail. Confused. Like, dot com. A llama isn't. I'm sorry. To really no, you're three, fine. But they should know by now. Um, you never know. We could have a new listener. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Go um, back and listen. I'm still going to assume that you have it <laughs> marketed on all of our different pages and accounts that you have. I do. Set. Just look so. for Pier, just go to pure54podcast.com and you will see everywhere we are. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's very realistic that a llama shows up at a hotel. If, I just don't. So I yeah. don't get it. So I don't understand how it happened a second time. I don't. And Lucy either. was very excited for it. Like when Cam she found brought it, it in. she was like, thank you for finding my llama. So it's not like it just wandered. I mean, maybe the llama and- it is supposed to be keeping Roxy company. Maybe. Maybe that's Lucy's. Maybe it is, the llama is Lucy's support animal. I don't know. So she doesn't end up naked in front of the whole audience again. Well, and so she's only, so let's talk about dresses. She's only had one. Yeah. She had no, a red she carpet. Too. She had a red right. carpet and now the pink one. But yes. I liked the red carpet one, but I thought it was a little young for her. 
Yeah. And again, I, I mean, she is a beautiful Her person. body can like, totally pull it off. Yeah, it wasn't about that. It was about, I feel like they're trying to put a lot of people in too young. Even like um, Willow, I think she's adorable. Uh-huh. But I did not like that dress. It oh, I love that me, dress. No, it felt to me like a high school girl's prom dress. Oh, but I liked it. Mm, no, and I we saw Joss in her dress at the end of yesterday. I loved it. No! You didn't like it? Oh, my God. <laughs> I loved it. It's so no. pretty. Mm. Those were my colors, though, like a purple and a gray. I love it. Nope. I thought she looked adorable. No. Okay, I don't like the fit of it. I think that it looks very boxy. Like, it could have dropped a little bit lower and then started with the layers. Like, it started very high up. See, I think it should have been shorter. It should only have, like, three layers and stopped at the knee. That would have been good, too, yeah. a young girl. Like, starting at the waist and then going down to the knee. Yeah. See, I was thinking if it went down to her hips and then started going down, that Maybe. might be better. But starting, I, was, up. I like younger girls in shorter dresses. Like yeah. I feel like that's more youthful. So yes. I wasn't, I wasn't impressed with her dress. But yes. okay. okay, what did you think of Lulu's? Because that one was gorgeous. I have a purple problem. <laughs> okay, but I did like the dress. Lulu is at an unfair advantage because as long as she doesn't wear that thing she wore a couple years ago, she was pregnant when she looked like a gumball. I don't care. I know that was horrible. It was Why did they do that to horrible. her? Horrible. I understand trying to hide a pregnancy, but then. Don't show her walk the red carpet. Right. Just show her just sitting down at the table the whole time. Yeah. And she could have been very flattering. Well, from it wasn't the top up. I know. And Rocco was, was a baby at the time, right? Rocco would have been a baby toddler. I mean, he's still toddler. kind of young. Yeah. So all she had to do was sit at the table and been like, listen, Rocco spilt something on me and I couldn't right. change before I left. So yes. I am sitting in the seat all night. Yes. Yes, exactly. Because that was horrible. They just need to have focus groups before they come up with these storylines. Like, by the way, what do you think of, I think they may have tried to do like a Glenda the Good Witch type thing. It was but just no, horrible. it did not work. It was just horrible. So yes, she looked lovely this year because she wasn't wearing that dress. My favorite dress of the red carpet was actually um, Ava's. Yeah. I thought it was age appropriate. Yeah. It was sexy, but not like, let me show everything I got. Mm-hmm. And like real classy. Yeah. I thought that was very pretty. Yeah. I like Nina's. Nina's dress is nice. Nope. Love Chandra Wilson's. Yes. Hers looks good because yes. on Grace, you never get to see right. her. She gets dressed up like once every five years or yeah. something for a wedding or whatever. But I love it. I love all the sequins. I love all the yes, sparkles. That was very pretty. Who else? Okay. Maxie's just a long black dress. So I, I can't get past Maxie's hair. I said that yeah. last week. I hate her yeah. hair. Right. I hate it. The lady that was, like, running the whole thing, she, her dress was, like, all sequency and crazy and had, like, flowers or whatever all over it. She was, like, standing there to usher the people in. And then she didn't go into the nurse's ball. But then yesterday, whenever, not to get into storyline, but whenever Sunny and Christina and Alexis uh-huh. were all in the yep. like, checkout area, check-in area of the hotel, she was standing there. And I just wanted to be like, what are you doing? Maybe she's security. She wasn't security. Why? Because she's a woman? No. No. Not that sexist. Um, One of her daughters has gone to the police boot camp, so she's totally not against women being in the protective services. I mean... And one of your daughters is in junior ROTC, so she's definitely not. I hope that my daughter doesn't become a police officer for safety reasons, but no, totally not against that. So... yeah. I didn't know. It was not because of that. It just, she, she served no like purpose. Like I was waiting for her to say something to mm-hmm. Sunny or whatever, again, not to pull into storyline, but she just like walked right past him. And I was like, I feel like you would be inside the event once it was over or you would go home, not just stand by the door. That was She might be the event coordinator and mm-hmm. they stay the whole time. And they stay, stay in, the, to, they're yeah. not in the actual event. Yeah. I, okay. They got to make sure that like anything, cause there could be someone on the inside making sure that the inside goes, but then they have to stay out to make well, sure I didn't that see that person. So. Well, I, don't know. I did see plenty of extras, though, which means next year they should definitely invite us. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Valerie was not there. Yeah. I just Maybe noticed. she'll show up later. Maybe. But she's I liked that Chase pulled Willow up on stage. <gasps> They're so cute. Can they just get married now? <laughs> no, because Ken and Anna just got engaged. The question- they have to wait a little while. Yeah. Okay, that was a good proposal, though. It was. Even that though was- Robert was a jerk. I know. We can get into that on the weekly recap but you know how because we were saying we hope he doesn't propose at the nurse's ball yeah you know but that was very it was good. i loved it it was very understated which was good yeah. because she had just gone through her whole robin yeah. speech so if he would have made that top what the night was about i would have mm-hmm. been over it i really just want to know why kimberly mccullough didn't do the video how she typically does when she's not there 
Maybe we're going to get to that. Maybe. But I don't know. Because I thought that was weird that she wasn't there or that they didn't send Emma back. Yeah. At least one of them has attended the past few years. And Spencer's not there. Right. I don't even know what to do with this this year. Like, it's not. There's so many I'm sorry. Missing. It's not good. There's no sponsor. Right. There's yeah. no sponsor. It just, it feels very boring. They're doing a bad job with the lip syncing. And I understand that they only have one or two takes. And I understand that in years past, they have probably lip synced, you know. Right. But it's bad this year. It's really bad. Amy, Nurse Amy. Yes. Really, 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 really good voice. Yes. And that song did nothing no. for her Mm-mm. at all. No. It was, I hate that we're just sitting here complaining about it. <laughs> well, normally they like do so many acts and you're like, wow, I didn't know that that person yeah. could do that. And wow, that's amazing. And I don't remember Franco whatever. ever performing before. So Franco has not. Okay. So that remember. was a nice so surprise. That was a nice surprise. And I felt... Like, that was a good introduction. Like, he wasn't trying to do a whole thing by himself. Mm-hmm. Just giving, like, the side part to Obrex was good. Well, and the whole time I'm saying that, I'm like, whose voice is that? Whose who's voice is that? You should have known whose voice I know. That I was. wasn't putting two and two together. Because I was doing work at the made, same time that oh, I was watching. Yeah, because so. he made a point of telling, which I don't know why you feel like you need to say this to someone at a ball. Because yeah. you and I went to a ball together, and I stepped away for 20 minutes even. I don't feel like I would need to say to you, don't leave. But How did okay. Cameron leave and go to Joss's house and come back? Come and back. I was just like, oh, where have you been? Yeah. I understand he's old enough. Like, he's older. But, but he doesn't have a car. <laughs> he no. Ubered. So. He's like, not legally he allowed to like, Uber. Well, They're not said, over 18. It said they Ubered. General Hospital, you got to get on this. Under 18-year-olds cannot ride share. It's illegal. Oh. They are not licensed. I'm a Lyft driver. Yeah, I know. And they, you can't. So I've uh, actually had to tell kids, like, I cannot take you. I ask them how old they are. And if they tell me under 18, I cannot take them because I am not legally licensed to transport minors. Mm. Yeah. See, that's I, it. I knew that there had to be an age somewhere because I've joked before about come to pick up my children and take them multiple places well, and I'll just pay your lift fee. If he's with an adult, absolutely. Right, like, right, right, right. You two could. Right, yeah. no. We have another child with us today. Oh, yes. All of my children are guests starring. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> she shook her head no. <laughs> she's playing with her little light bright. She's that, making an ice cream cone. That could be because I, like, threatened her life to be quiet on the way over. Aww. So now she's like, Mm-mm, I'm not getting in trouble. Megan did a good job. She did, and she thought she was super cool being here. Heck yeah, so. she's on the radio. <laughs> she thought it was, she was. She can tell off her friends. Yeah, super cool. So, But, yeah, I mean, that's that's a big Thing. I guess I missed that. Yeah, I was surprised when, that I missed that because that's typically the stuff I pick up. <laughs> when he went to get Jocelyn, uh-huh. he was like, "I have a Uber outside." She said she can wait that's if you right. want to go on a dress. Blah blah blah. Mm. And so yeah, he took an Uber and went. Not saying anything, but Uber does tend to be in the news more for negative things uh, than Lyft does. Mm-hmm. But it's it's like actually a lot. So. Yeah, they should have double checked that with you. Way to go. Now the legal know. department needs to check with us I know. too. I know. Just check your facts. Anyway, yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I know that kids are older. You know, my kids can go here or there, and I'm not always 100% sure of where they are at every second of the day. But something like the ball. Yeah. You, you got to at least tell me, hey, I'm running to Joss's house. I'll be right, right. back. Yeah. Not just disappear. Yeah. So. Especially Oscar told me to go do something. Right. Like, do you, you think totally your mom understood. wouldn't yeah. have driven you? Okay, I know we're not trying to get off on storyline, but I do have to say, I thought the message from Oscar was stupid. Mm. It was too to the point. I feel like if you were taking time to make a video journal for someone or a video Mm. message for someone, you would give a little bit more than, hey, go do the nurse's ball. Right. Love you, bye. And I'm still standing by. I think that she should sing it with Ned. Yeah. So he should have been the one to give her the message. I think she's going to break down singing it. Yeah. And he's going to come up and sing yeah. it. But I was happy because I thought for a minute that Wait. it was going to be... Ned isn't there. No! So he must have to show Where up. Where is everybody? <laughs> Ned and Olivia aren't there. No. I love that you can read my mind. <laughs> They're just by... I'm like, wait. Wait, he's not, not there. Monica's not there? Mm-mm. Dude. I mean, the nurse's ball happens every year. And, and I understand why Kim wouldn't be there, but Kim's not there. Yeah. And that feels weird to me also, because I feel like they're, I'm assuming that there would be and more Julian's like dedicated. Yeah. Yeah. Julian's not there. But Kim's also a doctor and I feel right. like she would be there regardless. Right. Like you I know, can't see her, her up for her character or something, but no. just let me sit here and support my friends that are performing. Right. Her as a character, I can't see not missing it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. What? 
is going on? And Jason's not there either, which I understand he's trying to do something Spinelli? for um, the whole Sam. Who we're going to go see next Tuesday. Oh, I can't wait. But I think that he would have still made an appearance. I think it's suspicious that he didn't make an appearance and then leave early because yeah. just not showing up. If I was Shiloh, I'd be like, hmm, this is a little weird. Yeah, but he's not really a ball guy. He, I feel like he he's not make fancy. an appearance if Carly and Sonny are going somewhere. Yeah. But I don't know. I, don't I know. liked Sam's dress. It could have just been a little higher neckline. Mm-hmm. Again, she's beautiful, but... She hasn't with, changed in 20 years, though. Going with Shiloh, I feel like she wouldn't be quite so out there. Or she's intentionally... Maybe. I don't know. Guys, Maybe. sometimes when they see two things, lose even more of their brain. <laughs> can only think of so. one thing. <laughs> well, there's um, two of them. I know oh, they can only think of one thing. Only I'm like, Amanda, one thing. we're not that close, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, if I look like Sam, I'd probably wear that dress every day. Like just coming over here to record, I would be wearing that outfit. But yeah, she's usually not quite so out there. Like yeah. it's usually like form fitting with like a high slit or something. Like you can mm-hmm. always tell she has a really good body, yeah. but it's not quite so here. Look at this. So it could be intentional though. I do like Sasha's dress. Yes. 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 Sasha looks beautiful. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the acts, the, nurse, the opening. I liked that it was all the nurses. Yep. Because it should be, since it's the oh, nurses. Oh, yeah, Felix, ball. Amy, Although, and I don't remember the other girl's name. Elizabeth wasn't in that that I saw. No, she wasn't. And I understand she doesn't usually sing, but she, but she always does one of the, the, yeah, whatever. So that was weird to me. Oh, I liked her dress. I did Elizabeth, like, yes. yes. She I don't like how amazing. she does her hair, though. No, because it doesn't look any different than when she's in her scrubs. No. But her dress was pretty. Yes. And I felt like, although it was like. It was like a good color. Look at me. It wasn't to look at me. Yeah. She's just so cute. Yes. Anyway. So yeah, the nurse's performance was good as far as it should have just been the nurses. And it was don't know why Elizabeth wasn't in it, but I don't think that it showcased Amy or Epiphany's voice. Really? No. Epiphany's did more, but yes. it definitely did not help Amy at all. Mm-mm. Oh, and Brad wasn't in it. Right. Hasn't Brad been in it in the past, mm-hmm. but he's not a nurse. He's the lab tech. But still, I feel like he's been. Oh, and Lucas wasn't in it either, so maybe it was just strictly the nurses. Maybe then. it was just nurses. okay because in the past, I do believe that, that they Elizabeth, have. That's even more reason that Elizabeth should right. be in it. because she's the only nurse. She's the only. <laughs> you know what? Maybe they're giving her the night off. Like, listen, <laughs> you hold down the fort three sixty four. We'll take care of this one. <laughs> okay, so what was the next act? Chase. Oh yeah, I loved the song. Mm-hmm. I, and I felt like that was appropriate. I don't understand all the cell phone stuff though. Is that you're supposed to be looking at social media, envious of other people's lives? I want something like this. I don't. I don't understand all the cell phone selfie looking stuff. Mm-hmm. I just like watching Chase. Though. Yeah, I kind of thought so. it was like a Tinder like swipe. Oh. Yeah, like can, find the right can person. Can explain to us? <laughs> but I wasn't really paying attention to the cell phones. I was just looking at him because he he's was pulled out some and... major '90s boy band moves. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> like, but it was so cute. Like, <laughs> it was great. It was the right amount of like. I know I'm up here, yeah. and and this is not like my comfortable spot. But look at me, I'm so cute. Yeah. And then whenever he pulled Willow up at the end, that was cute. I just love them. Can they just really? They are so Like, cute. in real life, can we get them <laughs> together? Because I hope that neither one of them's married. <laughs> I don't know, but they're just, they yeah, are adorable. They're adorable. That one, that's definitely they have my just favorite. They good chemistry together. And the God, that's don't ever they're recast them. That's so cute. But they're, like, they're innocent. They're, like, age-appropriate innocent. Mm-hmm. Like, they're not, like totally sheltered but at the same time they're still like learning like and they've gone through stuff but they're right but not, not like jaded by it you know which is yeah. hard to do exactly. and you can come out of it but it's it's still hard to do they're adorable and then Liesl with the surprise Franco I felt like that was good it I was, felt like she wasn't trying to take over the way that she normally does no it was just about let me sing yeah and then the way that Lucy introduced her was nice too mm-hmm. because it wasn't all here's nasty Right. Liesl, it's, well, she said something, she basically insinuated, but it also led to the song. Yes. So it was like, all right. I, but I love that she and Franco, I mean, it was kind of like tongue in cheek, you know, it was. Yeah. But it was exactly. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, I liked that. That was good. And again, appropriate. Like if they would have been dancing like all over each other. Or yeah. That would have been gross. It was obviously friends. Yeah. Singing together, having a good time. Yeah. I think that Cam respected watching him sing mm-hmm. to Elizabeth. Yes. You know, and that wall's going to come down a little bit 
It's, yeah. it's going to, but it's going to take. I think Oscar's death is going to help with that too, just because yeah. Franco is like not trying to pretend like he doesn't understand the loss. Like he's trying to help yeah. Drew and all that through it. So I think. And Drew's not there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No one attended the nurses' ball this year, so it's very difficult to talk about the act. It's because they didn't have a sponsor. Yeah, that's weird. It is weird. That's weird. And I understand maybe they're not in the same financial position that they were. Yeah. But it just, that was a thing now. Well, and then if you look on the backdrop of the step and repeat, it does not say ELQ's on there, Corinthos Coffee, Crimson's not listed, Mm. and neither is Aurora Media, I think. That's ridiculous. And I feel like those are two... Right. They're in the same building as where it's being held. But Crimson... I mean, Nina's doing the red carpet. You yeah. Know? It's it's definitely like a Crimson event. Right. Why is Crimson's name not all over it? So, I don't know. Very weird. Speaking of Cam, where we... Yeah. Back to Cam. Back to I guess. Cam. He was the next act. And I was really... I liked it. I thought he was doing the best job lip syncing while he was sitting down. Mm-hmm. And then the second he got up... Here's the thing, the kid's teenager. Yeah. So, songwriter, amazing. Right. Got to work on the lip syncing, just all of them. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, absolutely amazing. You know, he has, I didn't know that he could do that. No. I did not like how Lucy introduced him. He, She said, he's part of one of the most storied families in Port Charles. Isn't that, like, insinuating drama and right. stuff? He's a kid. Leave him you out know, of it. A lot of her words didn't make sense this time. I was annoyed when she introduced the, or after the nurses performed, she was like, that was a very inspirational, inspiring act. <laughs> Those are Can the exact just same words. Throw in inspired and we're good. Yeah. You know? Did you She's catch that? Because I was like. I didn't. Hmm, I did no. not. Yeah. Let's I, conjugate the same word over and over. <laughs> And I, I was like, really? You couldn't have thought of anything else? No, I guess mm-hmm. not. And then Ava. I thought that was an interesting song choice. I think that Mara West sounded better this year. Yes. I like that song. I don't like how it was slowed down, but I think that she did a better job. I don't understand why they didn't show Kevin at all, though. Right. Isn't that who she was singing it to? Right. He was busy signing for the flowers. Yes. So He's dying. I don't know. I don't know. I he's know. busy signing for the flowers. I don't like the acts that they just focus on them. Like, Cam's was okay because they had the pictures on the side, and that's yeah. what was supposed to draw your attention. Yeah. But I just feel like, not to sound spoiled, but I need more. Like, get up and do some type of dance. Well, it's something. supposed to be their big fundraiser. And then that was my other question. She's always asking for for them to bring out their checkbooks. What are they giving money on tours? I mean, typically, like, at a... An event like this, there's a silent auction. There is... Mm -hmm. Could you imagine? Seriously, we need to get this information to the writers, to General Hospital, to... They could actually have, like, an online silent auction really raising money for a real organization saying, and especially where they're part of Disney, right? you know, here's a silent auction for a four-person trip to Disney. Yes. And they could have the members of the audience writing a check, but also us at home could be bidding on those items. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're not taking advantage I'm just of be any their of consultant. it. Yeah, we said that last. They time. need a text. They need to. Well, even if I'm going to make Frank you... Valentini listen to this <laughs> when you when you see Jason next week, you can be like, like listen, Here, take this back to the writer. Can you take my tape? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a blank cassette. <laughs> Made a special mix for you of all all of the suggestions that we have for how to put the nurses all together. No, even if they didn't want to take it the step further that we had mentioned last time with your genius idea of the text to this number, just to flash the website up. Yeah, because it is supposed to be. Even if they would have done, okay, this would totally pulled it together. Joss and Christina were watching it at home. Yes. So when they looked at their computer yes. TV to have at the bottom, yes. couldn't attend, donate at www. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. And have, then it wouldn't have even been like, yeah, you know, like putting it across our TV screen does make it a little like, oh, we're trying to make money off of this, which if it's going to a good cause, right. you but should if you're be. a fan of the show and you're watching it, you're going you, to appreciate that. Exactly. You know? But if they oh. would have worked it into Dawson and them seeing it on the screen, mm-hmm. that would totally make sense that it would be on their screen. Oh, cool. I'll just Venmo them the money. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Exactly. That's Weird. the sound of Geniuses, Venmo. Is it? <laughs> and, but I mean, they could make their own standalone website. They could. Uh, yeah. There's so much money being so lost here. So much. So much. 
and the silent auction. I mean, even having every one of the characters like sign a shirt or whatever. Yeah. Like, why is okay? So we talked about why is Deception Cosmetics not a real thing? Mm-hmm. Why don't we have Corinthos coffee being sold? Yeah. Oh, because I would buy that for you in a heartbeat. It would be. So I stopped cute. drinking coffee a year ago, though. That's okay. You just need the bag. We'll give it to JD, though, because he loves Sunny. Oh, see? He does. He he (laughs) doesn't say it, but he likes Sunny. I feel like you just need the bag on your counter. Yes. Well, they have the coffee mugs on the ABC store. Yes. Yes, We're making our own wine glasses. See? Oh, you didn't know that. Shoot. I, I, I had heard that you, you have, Shannon is full of ideas. So I just wait until she tells me that I need to buy something or give her money for something because I never know what's actually going to become a I product. I clear it with you and first, not, though. No, I, I, I'm not, I don't mean it like $5 it's a bad and thing, under. But it's like, we should do this. We should do this. Oh, I saw this. No, I don't like this. So I'm like, okay, when you get to the point that you need money or you need me to pick something up, then I know we're going for it. Yes. Yes, we have to go get that one. We need to figure so, out when we're going to get that. Even with the podcast. Like, we talked about it for how many months? And then in March, you were just like, so you need to be here next week because we need to record so that it can drop April 1st. Well, but, okay, so this is bad. Well, that just happened to be, we were trying to figure out when should we start. And then I realized, oh, shoot, we should probably start on April 1st because that's the day that the show started. Right. I could have. But here's the thing. And this is why you didn't understand my, how I came up with the name because you've never seen First Wives Club. Right. There's a moment where Goldie Hawn is on the treadmill and she comes up with this great idea. And that Midler like says to her something about it. And she goes, it clears my head. Cause she's just like not thinking. She's also, a, she has a drinking problem too, oh, okay. like in it. So like it really <laughs> clears her head while she's working out. And I was on the elliptical when I had that idea. Ah. And that's the thing is like, I'm just like, what I do listen to my stuff. Typically I listen to podcasts or I read and I'm just in my zone and it hit me. There you go. But that explains why you did not understand my reference. So. <laughs> also, don't work out on the elliptical machine. <laughs> but you need to watch that movie. I have it. You're taking it home. All right. It's on DVD. Do we still use DVDs? I have a DVD player. I still have a VHS player, actually. So We have one. I think it doesn't work anymore, though, which oh. made us sad. Ours does. Yeah. So if you have a movie you want to watch, you can pull it. Sweet. What? It does. Madeline just whispered from the audience. It does. It works. She's the shy one, though. So. But I mean, other than that, I mean, those are the, those are the acts. Right. Those are the acts. Lucy's only had one dress. There's mm-hmm. no sponsor. So we have nothing to talk about. Mm-mm-mm. We don't know who else is going to perform other than we're assuming that Joss is going right. to yeah. perform. If she's the only one, six acts. Cause if and they Ned's were all not there singing, just singing except for the nurses one pretty much. And, oh, they did say that Magic Milo was not coming. Right, because they couldn't bring. Yeah. So, yeah. sorry. Thank you. I did love Sasha laughing at the fact that Michael yes, was a wand. Yes, magic wand. Yes, that was funny. It's not really story, but it's in reference to the fact that we talked about the new opening. Yes. And it's, like, them dropping the picture slow and yeah. everything. Oscar's still on there, but Jax is not. Oh. I thought that part of the purpose of having them do it that way was that they could switch them out. But Spinelli's back on. Right. Spinelli was on there yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yes. But Jax isn't. I mean, he said he doesn't know long, how long he's staying for. So I guess but they're Spinelli's just not already there. Out. But that's why I'm wondering, is Spinelli going to be more permanent? Oh, uh, maybe. But then I feel like we'd have to bring Ellie and Georgie back. Yeah. Because you can't leave your kid with someone. I know that Ellie has <laughs> raised her as her Maybe they can just let Mac. But you can't let someone leave <laughs> Mac, can you move to, where are they at? <laughs> Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. Can you move to Seattle and just take care of Georgie, please? Because mm-hmm. we can't have her back here. No, I would like them to bring Georgie back because I would like to see Maxie with both of her kids. Right. Yeah. Like, as it is, she never has James. Well, and who's babysitting James right now? <laughs> Mac and Felicia are at the nurse's ball. Obrecht's there, too. Who's watching James? Maybe um, and Olivia picked him up for her just to be nice because she's not there. Maybe. And she always has her kid yeah. and Rocco. So why not pick up Maxie's kid too? I mean, so where's the kids? Who's watching the kids? Where's Ned, Olivia, Maybe um, Trina's watching them because she wasn't there, which I also thought was weird. I know we haven't met her whole yeah. family, but she was in those pictures like, oh, they're the four musketeers, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And we haven't really seen anything with her, even about Oscar's death and stuff. Yeah, she wasn't at the memorial. No. Now where's Trina? <laughs> 
so many people are lost this week. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. I don't know what to do. Well, in side storyline, though, but it ties into last year's Nurses Ball, James' birthday, first birthday is going to be this week. Yeah, because and Maxie talked about it. She right, said, she said she didn't want it to be as exciting as last year. Unless she doesn't know that she's pregnant. It's not going to. <laughs> um, but when are we having his first birthday? Right. <sighs> and I feel like that would be a big deal, especially since Nathan's, Nathan's gone. gone. Yeah. Hmm. Too many empty storylines. All right. I mean, we're in sweeps, right? I think so. I thought that May was sweeps. Are we off by like a week? Is next week like everyone's going to show up and all no kind of crazy idea. stuff's going to happen? I don't know. Because I feel like we were waiting and waiting and waiting for the nurses' ball. Yeah. Because this is going to be. We did a lot of work up until everything. this point. That's right. And now we're here and we're like, oh, yeah, no, this is. Like, it's not. I'm just. And they don't even seem that excited. No. You it's know? like an event they just have to go to. Like, a bunch of them were like, yeah, I decided to come. Great. Okay. Right. I don't know. So. So I guess we'll see what happens. So, I mean. So we, this is only Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. Right. I'm going to have faith that today is the turning point. And when you listen to this tomorrow, we're going to be like, what? Here's no. all the answers. Here's Everything all the happened. people. Yes. But you're going to have to wait until next Thursday when we do the part two of the 2019 Nurses Ball recap. That could just be super short if it ends today. Very true. But... I'm sure that we can talk about how it tied everything together. I mean, we never have Please a problem Please let it tie about everything together. What is happening? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to go look at some houses. Yes. How so, fun. Fun. Yay. Um, so, yeah. Have a good weekend. And we'll meet you at the beer. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to subscribe and follow on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever you listen to. Also, please give us a review. This helps us know what you like. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And also, we're not perfect, so if there is something that we messed up or something that we missed, or if there's just something that you want to talk about, let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com.